guys so so much we have so much catching up to do but before we talk about the obvious um, I thought I'd bring you up to date because I know I last spoke to you in the Wit Sundays in Australia and obviously I was planning on speaking to you in Brisbane and then Sydney and then also even in Kuala Lumpur on the way home. However, that has not happened and I've been totally MIA for the last few weeks and that never happens with YouTube. I never take time off YouTube because I just love it so much and I miss talking to you so much. So I'll just give you a little quick rundown of the last couple of weeks and kind of where I've been. So after the Wit Sundays, we went back to Brisbane. We did a week in Brisbane before the Wit Sundays, and then we did a week when we got back. And I was kind of planning on vlogging a lot of that time in Brisbane, but because we were staying with Kenny's family, and obviously we didn't get to see Kenny's parents very much, we just had loads of like family time with them, and it just didn't feel like the right thing to be anything but present. With them and then when we got to Sydney we only had three days left because we only had three nights in Sydney and it just felt like the whole trip had gone so fast we were there for a whole month and it felt like it just went by like that so by the time we got to Sydney I was like I really want to make sure I'm being present make sure I'm just like absorbing this whole thing it was my first time in Australia um, and I just wanted to really be with Kenny and be in the moment you know so that's basically what happened with Australia however I did TikTok vlog most days and they are all coming but the issue was right this this like i don't know how this happened but i got like an e-sim when we went to australia and somehow the e-sim was like registered to or thought i was in a different country i can't remember where maybe hong kong or something not sure it's tiktok banned in hong kong but anyway wherever it was registered to um tiktok just was banned so i couldn't go on tiktok for the whole time basically we were in australia so if you want to see what we got up to in australia that's over on tiktok i'll leave my it's the same as my instagram handle um so that's what happened with that and then we landed and we moved straight in to our new house can i even call it a new house anymore like obviously we've owned this for like i think like eight months or something now um and as you guys know it has been a journey renovating this house like a long quite painful journey actually i don't even know if i told you guys that we had to get rid of our old builder i can't remember if that happened before or after i last spoke to you but that just did not work out and i think that heavily contributed to why the progress was so slow but we won't go into that because we don't need to go back there because we've got a new builder he's amazing but we're so almost there obviously we're at a point where we can live in it now this coming week should be the last week that the decorators here and the builders and they're both just doing like finishing up bits like for example we don't have a toilet in our main bathroom or a sink they've got to go in this week and the decorators just need to do touching up bits like these for example um are shelves in our kitchen and they need to be painted so we're nearly 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 there so i'm not going to do like a full house tour in this video because we're so close now but it's not fully finished so i'm like we may as well just wait for that to do like a full tour our carpets for example aren't down yet and we're getting some new fencing in the garden and just loads of bits loads of finishing bits are happening this week however i just really wanted to catch up with you and i wanted to bring you along today just to show you what life is like now um, and tell you where i've been and all of that stuff it's been so hot these last few days so it's been so nice having a garden rue is here rue is finally back i know some of you have been asking where rue is because obviously we've been away for so long and then even before that we were in hotels so rue has spent a lot of time with my parents so i'm so excited and happy to have her back with us she loves her garden she spends the entire day in the garden so that just makes my heart so full the other day i started making a cup of tea and i looked out our window here and she was like rolling around in the garden with her ball and just my heart my heart it just made it all feel worth it anyway i know that's a big long catch up but i thought after three weeks that was probably long overdue three weeks i think is the longest i've ever not posted on youtube and i have hated it i have missed you so much and this morning when i got my camera and my tripod out i was just like it's good to be back it's so good to be back so plan for today is I'm going to take Rue straight out on her walk because it's meant to be like 29 degrees today. Um, so if I don't take her first thing this morning, she just won't get a chance to go out because it'll be too hot. So we're going to do that. And then when we get back, I'll just show you what we've been up to. Like we're basically unpacking, cleaning, because if you have done renovations, the dust from a building site is no joke. It's just no matter how much you hoover, mop, clean, it's just, it just comes back. So loads of unpacking organizing cleaning all of our kitchen is set up we don't have worktops in here yet because they have to be the last thing to be fitted 
um, but we've just got like planks of wood, so we're cooking and life is somewhat normal, not quite, that's probably a stretch you'll see as we go around the house, um, but yeah, it just feels really nice to be home, as in home in the UK, but also home as in actually having a place that's ours, because you'll know that we've been in hotels for the last, well since March we've been in hotels, so just feels really nice to be here. Also, quick side note, we are definitely going to be doing loads of like healthy girl, productive videos because this girl, after three months of living in hotels and basically eating out all day, every day, I'm feeling it. I really am excited just to do some home cooking, to get back into a good routine. I'm going to start wearing my Apple Watch and we're just going to get back to a place of feeling really good. Oh, that's really barking. Mm barking at neighbours because the apartment was obviously like pretty much soundproof. There's an adjusting period that's gonna happen. Hello gorgeous. by um, Gail's on the way home and picked up some bread because their bread's super good. This is just like a plain sourdough and then that's a seeded sourdough. They were in the garden by the way. Um, and then I just got some bits, mostly for Kenny, for his lunch, but also just so we've got stuff in for another day. So this is obviously for Kenny because it's got goat's cheese. Um, and then I got this one. This one's really good. I always get it from Gail's. And then I got some cakes. I'll get it out. You. They're like little chocolate tahini bites and they're just the best thing ever. So I got one of them for me because they're um, plant based. And then I got Penny like a pecan crumble cake thing. But I just thought I'd do a run because um, we're so busy with everything else. We forget to do our food shops and stuff. So just making sure we've got stuff in for if we need an emergency lunch tomorrow or anything. First priority is to get some ice into the freezer because it's boiling hot today and Kenny and I are going to have some wine tonight with our dinner just to you know celebrate finally being moved in to our new house so I hope we've got ice trays in this freezer and I think we're going to do like a pasta salad kind of dinner with some wine and we've been eating all of our meals in the garden it's been so nice so that's priority number one also I appreciate I'm wearing the least summery outfit in the entire world all black on like a 30 degree day we're probably going to do some cleaning this afternoon and you just get absolutely filthy so I just wanted to wear something like old and it covers Mine's me up. you are Mine's a bit better. What do you mean yours is a bit better? You're virtually naked. Oh, we should have treated everyone to your um, vest that you're wearing, or singlet, as Kenny would call it. What's happened to your vest? Where's it gone? What's the plan for today? What do you want to work on? Um, well, I'm cleaning outside. Cleaning outside, yeah. yeah. I'll show you the state of our garden in a sec as well, because that needs a lot of work. Like, any other jobs, or should I just unpack my stuff? Yeah. I wish I could film you, but you are nude, naked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we are going to have an evening tonight where we like have some wine, have some dinner and not just because we've literally been working up until like 10 o'clock at night every single night, which we can still do, but I just want to chill and have dinner together. Yeah. Anyway, priorities. Let's get the ice in the freezer for the wine. This is just the reality of what the end of our garden looks like and actually Kenny has made a vast improvement on this. He's been sweeping up this morning because we couldn't even get to our back gate for a while um, because all of this stuff was there. So we just need to wait for a new skip to arrive and then we can get rid of all of this stuff. But we're kind of waiting on getting the fence done because we're having that fence redone and then obviously that needs to go in a skip. So we also need to make a decision on this shed. Don't know if this is heavy or not. Mm, better not move that. But basically we've got quite a big shed um, at the end of the garden and they are very useful, but I don't know how much use, you know? So I don't know whether we'd want to get one that's just like 
a bit smaller so we have some more garden space but anyway as you can see we've got an awful lot to do back at this end of the garden. Another job that we have to do is all of our borders, like we've got these borders the whole way around the garden. This one is basically like rewilded naturally. Um, and so some of these things I'd actually keep. Hi, little miss, it's too hot for you here. And also this is all AstroTurf, which we're definitely going to take up and put real grass down, but we just kind of need to obviously wait until all of the stuff's out of the garden and then we'll put turf down. But that's one of our first priorities because both of us just don't love AstroTurf. So that's got to go. It's just too hot outside for Rue, so she's a bit bored. She keeps trying to go, but it's too hot. Come in here, Rue. Kenny has made us some lentil soup for lunch, which is nice. It's so nice to be back home with Kenny's cooking again. But this is like an example of where the house is not quite finished, like the finishing details need to go on here, because obviously we won't have this gap thing here. So I think I'm gonna help myself to some of this and go and sit in the garden. He's also made this little side salad just to go with the soup and it has got asparagus, cucumber, some olives, some greens and then I think the main thing in there is barley. So what a lovely lunch to have outside. Right I've just jumped into the car because I need to head over to Carpet Right because I don't know if anyone else is like this or if I'm just so indecisive but we just pressed go on the carpets and I need to reassure myself that I've picked the right one even though we've looked at it a hundred thousand times I just need to reassure myself so if they'll let me bring a sample home I'll show you when we get home kind of like the colour that we've gone for um, just for the upstairs of the house so let's go right we've secured the goods so I'm going to drive this home and quickly test it next to the paint and everything in the bedrooms make sure that we're happy with it then I'm going to drive it back. We just got this from Carpet Right. Um, we did look at other places for carpets, but honestly, I am obviously just not well enough educated on it because I could not tell the difference. And obviously, Carpet Right. I think the carpets in our house are still costing us about £4,000, probably enough to spend on carpet, especially since one day in the future, we might take the carpet up and refurb the floors. That's like long term, we're not in a rush to do that. Um, but in the end, we obviously explored the options of refurbing the floorboards and carpet. And it was just going to be, I'm covered in this carpet stuff. It was just gonna be a lot more time consuming to do the floorboards and so messy with all the sanding and everything. Um, and we just, Time was of the essence, so we thought, let's carpet. So we're just carpeting the bedrooms and then the stairs are having like a different um, flooring. So you'll see that, but this is just for the bedroom. So let's drive it home and see how we go. This one is cool, just in case you're doing your house and you want to know, that's upside down, but it's Linmouth Twist and the color is Snowdrift. And like I said, it's just from Carpet Right. Right, let's get her home. It's basically impossible to tell with the floorboards looking like this because they're covered in paint and obviously they're just, well, they're not actually filthy, but they look filthy because there's so much paint on them. So I've tried to put it in the corner to give myself an idea. If I zoom you in, then, but then you can't really, I don't know. Is it too much like the color of the walls? The original sample that we brought home was like a lot lighter than this. Like it wasn't white, obviously, but it was, closer to white definitely much closer to white than this but that just really didn't look right i think it was too light but now i'm wondering is this too dark because this is obviously like darker than the walls wish i could have all the samples here at the same time but they just let me take this from the showroom which they're not really supposed to do i don't think um 
Oh, it's so hard to know. Okay, it's about six o'clock. Kenny has just started to prepare dinner downstairs, but we have realized one minor, minor obstacle is that our wine glasses are at the back of this room. This is pretty much where all of our furniture is. If you've been wondering what we've done with all of that, it's all stored in this one room. Um, this light fitting will not be staying. That is just the original one. So I need to somehow climb over this and dig around and try and find the wine glasses. So bear with me. preparing dinner and it looks sensational already so this is like a big salad and then he's made some croutons there's like some fried garlic in there and i'm not sure what else but it just looks so yum and then this is like the beginning stages of our pasta salad go see what we've got going on on here that's for Rue. that's her fish fillet that we feed her for dinner with veggies and stuff and then kenny's cooking mushrooms for the pasta what about the actual pasta in the fridge. Oh, okay. Let's go look in the fridge, see what there is happening in that. The... Oh. oh, yum! He's gonna keep his eye on me now to make sure I don't steal any. What is it? Like a vegan mayonnaise and... Yeah. It's what? I think it's a little bit oh. spicy. Oh, no. When you say a little bit spicy, do you mean berry? No, like not really. So like... A little bit. I just thought it was mayonnaise. So this is what, well, it's obviously not mayonnaise, it's like some other version. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, our fridge is not quite fully stocked yet, it's such a big fridge um, with loads of storage, which is amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna close that. This is our dinner setup. We have got the big pasta salad, which has all been mixed together now with the veggies. And then we've got the salad with the croutons and the garlic. We've got our wine, Kenny's got balsamic. Kenny's about to serve Rue her dinner, which is just too much. Are you not sure? That's yours, Ray. You can have it. Go on. That's yours, baby. Good evening, everyone. I'm just on a delightful bed which is basically a mattress on the ground complete with a dust sheet on the ground as well because we obviously have no carpets up here yet so it's just a little bit of an improvement on floorboards and I've got my cup of tea I've got Rue's bed which actually looks filthy looking in this so that probably needs a clean um, and I'm just watching some YouTube and just like winding down for the day because I have realized it's 20 past nine like because it's still full full daylight outside at 20 past nine you really um lose track of time that's one thing that i don't miss from australia is it got dark at like honestly like five o'clock it was pitch black um so i'm very grateful for these long summer evenings that we get in the uk um we're very lucky to have them so anyway i'm gonna leave today's video here because i'm just gonna watch youtube and chill now um so i know we haven't done an awful lot today and i know i haven't showed you around the house i really want to save doing like a proper tour where I explain things and tell you the work that we've done and show you like before and afters and things like that for when the house is fully finished. But I know I've probably shown like quite a bit of the house in the process today. I am beyond excited, beyond, beyond, beyond excited for the next few months and all the videos and everything because obviously now we're in like the most exciting part which is 
like furnishing the house, doing the garden, buying like all nice little bits, organizing my wardrobe room because I need to, once there's carpet in there, my wardrobes will go in and then we need to organize that. And it's basically just all our favorite stuff. Like I can't wait to be like consistently reading and journaling and working on myself and eating really healthy and bringing you guys recipes and working out and all of that stuff. So I really, really appreciate you guys being here so much like more than ever and i'm so grateful for the patience you've had with me over the last few months because we're normally really consistent around here it's normally home vlogs recipes working out and books and all that kind of stuff and i know it's been so all over the place and i've missed a good few weeks and everything so basically what i'm trying to say is thank you so so much for being patient with me thank you for still being here and for sticking around and i'm so excited for what there is to come i just know it's going to be the best few months ever we're back on our regular schedule so i will see you guys next sunday bye guys